Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm here with a Goodwill store haul. Usually if you've been, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I probably shop at the bins most of the time to source. But a week or two ago, I wasn't able to go down to the bins just due to being busy with home stuff. And I decided to go down the mountain to the closest LA store, which is about an hour away. They were having a two color dollar day. So Los Angeles Goodwills have one day a week where they have the color of the week as everything for a dollar. So what is that? Probably one sixth of the store or one seventh of the store. I can't remember how many colors they have, you know, is, is a dollar, which is great. I don't mind the frenzy because it's not much different than the bins. And so yeah, I thought I'd share what I got. I got 33 items for $33. I didn't pick up anything that was more than a dollar, although tempting. I put the stuff back so I could kind of be fair um, with this video or fair to, to my goal or my objective. And I did it in under three hours. So I was able to run down, shop for a few hours, come back, let my dog out, and also continue listing and getting work done that day. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed and you like reseller content, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed these videos, the thumbs up means a lot to me. So first up is an anthropology item. And this was a new to me anthro brand, but it's really beautiful yellow, kind of a mustard yellow, long sleeve button down. And on the back, it kind of has a different, like more of a softer cotton material. The front's probably just a polyester. So I had never seen this label, which is porridge. And I thought, oh, it looks cute. I'm gonna look it up. Looked it up on Poshmark. It said people were listing it under anthropology, which if you have been reselling on Poshmark for a while, you know that people misuse that often. So I decided to look for the RN number on here. It wasn't the correct RN number. So I went to Anthropology Brand List. So Anthropology.com has a brand list, and I don't know if it's every brand they've ever had in their store, but it is a very lengthy list of brands that they have had or have currently. So they did in fact have porridge clothing on their brand list. So I feel confident that even if this one piece wasn't sold there, it still is a brand that sold at Anthropology, if that makes sense. So. I thought it was really cute. I'm only expecting about 20 to 28 for this, but I think someone will really love it. This next one is another anthropology brand. This one I have sold a number of times, which is knitted and knotted. It's a little tiny, but, and this is an extra small, just really cute, lightweight sweater. I think any season appropriate. And yeah, I've had pretty decent luck with this line of the knitted and knotted. So with this, I'm only hoping for about 15 to 20, but because I have sold this, I decided for a dollar, I'll pick it up. I think it'll make someone happy. I love the neutral colors, the lace detail. This is a free people. And originally I picked this up thinking I would sell it, but because my local consignment store that I take product to likes free people, asks for free people and does well with free people. Um, so here's the tag. This is an extra small. I don't do as well with kind of the basic non boho free people items. So I think I'm actually just gonna wait until they start accepting false stuff in a month or two and I'll just take this to them. Because if, if I sold it, I'd only really expect about 15 to 20. So I like to have things in all places, lots of places. Cash flow coming in all places. Uh, this is a sweater that I found before in a different color, actually at this exact same Goodwill. It's a Cupcakes and Cashmere, and it might be a little hard. There we go. It's an extra small as well. What I really like about this cable knit sweater is this, I don't know if you can see the line in the back. So if you were to wear a shirt under, it would just have this really fun pop. The other one I have, I don't think has sold yet, but it's kind of an ivory or cream color, I can't remember. But um, yeah, I just like this, I love the color, and I think it'll do well this fall. So with this, I'm hoping for about 20 to 28 as well. Keep in mind when I first went to the dollar day or when I always go to dollar days, whether it's one color or two, I always jet to the heavier items. And the reason for that is because I'm a bin shopper, I primarily shop by weight. If I can buy something for a dollar that weighs four pounds at the bins, it will cost me, you know, it's $1.99 at most of my bins. That'll cost me quite a bit. If I can get it for a dollar and it has some weight or substance, then it's 
yeah, even better deal than the bins. So something like this probably, I actually have my scale right here. So why, why don't we just weigh it? Because we can. Something like this weighs just under a pound. So this probably would have cost me um, about just under $2 at my local bins. And at this store, it only cost me a dollar. So a better deal. This is a Madewell. I love this color green. Oh, I just wish this were, it's an extra small. I mean, it's a little oversized, but I think that's supposed to be the look. But anyways, it's just a cute cardigan. Almost kind of has that boyfriend cardigan look. And yeah, only hoping for about 20 to 28 for this, but I think someone will really like it. And it's not very heavy, which is nice. This was kind of a mistake. I have picked up this brand and sold this brand, but I think they just sell this at major department stores, which is Laundry by Shelly Seagal. I put this in my basket and I forgot to rummage through my basket. So I just kind of like this print. When I looked at home at comps, um, I'm only expecting about 10 to 15 for this. It is a size large, which is great. And I personally, I'll probably wear this in a video because I run out of clothing. This is for sale. I'm just wearing all the clothing for sale. But um, yeah, I mean, it's cute. It just it's, it doesn't have high comps. So I might take it to the consignment store, but I, I don't know if they'll even want it. So this is probably my one risk that I'm happy with or that I took that I think was worth the risk. So if you watched my videos, you know I don't do a lot of vintage, but this jacket was, I don't care what the brand is, the, it's just got a cool factor. So I love the buttons, it kind of has a military kind of button front. And I don't know if you can see, there's these little triangles. I think when I showed this to my mom on FaceTime, she said there was a name for it. I don't know. But there's triangles on the back, four corners, and then on the front, I don't know if you can see. But this is just such a fun jacket. And it's a brand, a vintage brand called Zelda. And according to comps, it's made in the USA. It's wool, dry clean only. According to the comps, I'm, I'm thinking I might be able to get about 50 to 60 for this. I, there were some that, that sold for around that, but they weren't as cute as this. I think this is just a really trendy looking jacket, if you ask me. But... Um, yeah, so I was pretty exci excited about that. Again, it only cost a dollar, hoping for about 50 to 60. Next up is an Everlane tee. A little, and I know I've talked about Everlane before, that I don't have the best of luck with tees, but I liked this. It's kind of a navy and white cropped tee, and I think it's perfect for summer. Too small for me, it's a small, but um, yeah, I think it's cute. Only expecting about... 15 to 20, but I think someone will love it. This one, you know, this brand, people list a lot higher on Poshmark for it, but they don't actually sell for all that much. I don't even know where this brand is sold, but I got it kind of for style and it's not a well-made, I don't know if that makes sense. It's like just a polyester, I'm assuming, but it's got this really cute bird print and it's a little black dress, it's kind of short, long sleeve, but it's very lightweight. Like, I don't know if you can see through it. I think you can. Um, it kind of, you know what it feels like is it feels like an H and M dress or something where you could get a few wears out of this and be really happy. Um, other stories, where are you material? Oh, viscose, which doesn't feel like that. And I don't even know if I say that correctly, but that's how I say it. So, uh, anyways, it's a size six US. It's really cute. I would personally wear this, which is why I picked it up for a dollar. I'm only expecting probably about 20 to 28 according to comps, but I will say the fabric is thin. I don't know. I think steam again, I think it's cute. I just don't expect a long life for it. So, all right, this next one is another one. When I got home and looked up comps, I have sold this brand before. It's a mod cloth brand called Fervor. Hopefully it's picking up. It's just a really cute, I really like this. It's kind of a pinkish purplish color. Pencil skirt, lots of stretch, just a comfy skirt. Size medium. And again, mod cloth does pretty well. So, but the comps on these pencil skirts, even in this kind of deep rose color, I'm not sure what you would call it. 
um, 15 to 20. So I might just take it, try it at the consignment store. This one I was excited about. I just happened to be walking by the skirts and I saw some pink and I just, it stood out to me. And so I found that one. And then right next to it, I found this Madewell and it's a great size, a size 12. It's a really cute skirt. It's kind of got this velvet feel and even better, there's a little, a little dust bunny, uh, even better, it's new with tags. Again, everything was a dollar. The original price on this was $98 or $88. And when I looked up comps, this exact skirt in some smaller sizes was what two had sold for $70, which I'm just, that's, in, that's crazy. Uh, so I'm going to start at 70 and I'm going to hope for about 45 to 55 because I think a size 12 is awesome. This is such a cute little mini skirt. I love the zipper detail and I'm probably going to hold firm. I think this will do well. So yeah, I was excited. This one I probably shouldn't have picked up. I liked it for style. And then when I got home and looked up the comps on this exact item, you know, I do like this brand. I should stop picking it up because I feel like every time I pick it up, it sits and sits and sits. But I just love the Shearling kind of style. Shearling? Shearling? It's Velvet by Graham and Spencer. They have a lot of different labels, but this is one of them. This is a size uh, medium. 100% polyester, made in the USA. I just, it, obviously the wrong season, but style-wise, I found this exact jacket that sold on Poshmark a couple times, and they were only selling for 15 or 20, I think. So I'm gonna list a little high for next fall at 35 and hope for about 20 to 25. So this one I think is gonna look great on the dress form. It's a really cute wrap dress. And you know, a lot of people just, they love wrap dresses. I, they op it, it open too much and I just, it's, I cannot, I cannot get away with them. But this is size large, which is awesome. It's BCBG Max Azria. You can't really see, that's my dog growling. Can't really see cause I kind of tied it. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna look cute on the dress form. And with this, I just think the colors, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. So I'm hoping for about 30 to 40 for that one. I think I've sold this exact dress. I might just be mixing all my items together, but this is Anthropology Saturday, Sunday, and it's just a really cute short sleeve dress. And the pockets on the front have these little orange buttons, which are adorable. So this is a size small and it's perfect for the season. So with this, I, I'm pretty sure I've sold this dress. With this, I'm only hoping for about 25 to 30 probably 20 to 28. I'll probably start at about 35 because I think I listed high the last the last one I got, but this is an Annette Lepore. I've had decent luck with this designer. I don't, I, it's people, I think it has a following. Uh, again, this is not the right season, but how cute is this? It's like a black gray or a dark gray, a light gray and a yellow. It definitely gives me the clueless vibes. Like I feel like she wore kind of a black or gray and yellow preppy outfit, but size two and hoping for about 30 to 40 for that. Not now, probably later. This one, I style wise just decided to go for it. It's Loft, Ann Taylor Loft, and it is just the cutest, most forgiving. It's got the kind of off the shoulder. You could kind of wear it a little bit on the shoulder. Here's the tag. I think it's a size medium. Yeah. And what I really loved about this is on the bottom and on the sides, there's this little black kind of more pronounced stripe. So I just think this is a perfect summer, very forgiving. So it would just be easy for anyone to kind of fit in. It's kind of within the medium range. And I'm, yeah, I'm hoping for probably about 15 to 20 for this. Not much, but I think someone's going to love it. So, and that's sometimes what matters doing this. I mean, obviously it matters to make money, but <laughs> it only costs a dollar. So this one is another one I'm probably going to take to the consignment store because the comps, it's another anthropology. It's really cute. I don't know if the color is picking up, but I love the style and it's for some reason, the tag is a little bit kind of sewn or the brand is a little bit sewn under. So I don't know if you can see my apologies, but it's O D I L L E. Odile, maybe. 
which is, it does have the 661, or sorry, the RN number 66170, which is Anthropology Urban Outfitters Free People. And yeah, I just liked it. Didn't even look it up, but when I looked it up, very similar tops were only going for about uh, 10 to 15 if I'm lucky online. So I think I'm gonna take that to the consignment store too. She likes anthropology as well. And then this is the last item that I'm going to sell. I have a few more that I'm gonna definitely take to the consignment. Which way are you? This is a chaser tea, a little burnout tea. There we go. And it's a size medium. What I liked about this is it's got the whole patriotic thing going on, except I can't read it. Sometimes I can read things after I watch the, the playback on these. So if you guys can read this, it looks like something banned. The blank blank band is all I can make out with my eyesight this close. But anyways, red, white, and blue, 4th of July is coming up. I think that'll do well. Only hoping for about, well, I might go high, I don't know, 20 to 25 because it's a fun graphic, so we'll see. And then I've got a few things for the consignment store I thought I would show you. This one, I don't think I've taken BCBG Max Azria, but they do. It's a warm client. Climb it down by this consignment store. And this is a very lightweight. I just like the striped. And it's very soft. So I thought I'd take that to them and see if they'll take this brand. They have specifically asked, or they like Lucky. And I thought this was a really cute blouse. Kind of has sheer sleeves. And then on the front, kind of the same thing. So you'd have to wear something under it. But size XL, which is great. And I love this color. 3 fourth length sleeves. This one was just for fun. I think they'll like it. It's got watermelons all over it. And little the little lining part on the bottom has some polka dots. So, yeah, size medium. Um, Mason Jewels, I think they sell this at Macy's. I, I feel like I've seen that at Macy's. I don't know if that, that's the only place, but. And then this is Meadow Rue, which is anthropology. Really cute little blouse. Again, I wouldn't be able to get more than 10, 15 for this probably. So I'm just gonna take it to the consignment store. I think they'll really like it. I have never taken them Betsy Johnson, but I believe this is a vintage Betsy Johnson. It's made in the USA, pink tag. I, I there are there are some very valuable Betsy Johnson pieces. I just don't have the patience to learn all about it. I do like the designer. I went to a couple of exhibits of Betsy Johnson when I lived in San Francisco, and I I just love her funky style. But I just thought this is such a fun little little black dress with a little bit of kind of shimmer ruffles. I don't know if you can see. And a medium so I'm gonna try this out at the consignment store I don't know if they don't take it I'll be happy to sell any of this and then I got so I think the last of it is just some t-shirts they like graphic tees for men and women so I've been picking those up even if they aren't really any brand this one has a brand but it's kind of hard to see I don't know if this is lucky this I don't know if the brand is picking up there but it's cute it says weird but nice. It's a little women's graphic tee. This one I thought was pretty cute. Pets are people too on the front. I'm guessing this is probably just a good human. It's probably just like a, I don't know, raising money to save dogs or animals. This might be my favorite tee so far. I kind of hope she doesn't take this because even though I wouldn't get much money for it, I mean, how awesome is this? Now, downside, it doesn't have a brand, doesn't have any internal tags. Save the chubby unicorns, aka the rhino, which is awesome. And it kind of has a blurry look to it. I don't know if it's picking up, but just awesome. So I think she'll like that. This one, I'm not sure if she'll do this. But coming from San Francisco, we had to sell a lot of Alcatraz. I just think someone would really like the Psycho Ward outpatient. You know, there's a lot of kitschy stuff around Alcatraz. And this is a Doctor Who t-shirt. There's a lot of Doctor Who fans. And I think this was a good size, like a 2X. Yeah, so I think she'll like that. 
I think she's been taking about 90% of the stuff I've been taking her, which is awesome. So this is Fender with love partnered with Lucky Brand. Fender, I think someone in one of my videos told me it was a guitar brand, but this is a, a women's graphic tee, so I, I know she'll like that. This one I don't know if she's gonna like, but I think it's fun. It's just tie-dye. Is tie-dye still in? I, for, In my opinion, tie-dye will always be in. There's always gonna be hippies out there that are gonna be rocking the tie-dye, but I don't think this is any brand, but it is a good size. I liked the bottom, kind of had a little bit of design down here in the stitching so we'll see I think she'll hopefully like it this one's super cute <laughs> sometimes I feel empty inside you make me whole I mean adorable it's I don't even know what this brand is but I think she'll like it and it's a pretty blue color this is another Marvel I believe yeah and she took the last Marvel tees that I took her, so hopefully she'll take that. And then the last one, I'm probably going to have to hold on until she's taking fall stuff. But I don't know if she's going to want graphic sweatshirts, but I can't imagine she wouldn't. This is a company that is no longer, doesn't exist anymore, from the UK called My Yard. And uh, from what I could see quickly online, their website doesn't work anymore. It was men's... And women's graphic tees. I think this is a men's medium sweatshirt, but a woman could easily wear this oversized. So I'm going to hold on to that and take that to her in the fall or before the fall. And hopefully she'll like that. So anyways, I got 33 items total, 15 plus maybe a couple of the ones that I mentioned early on are going to go to the consignment store and everything else. If I am estimating about seven to eight dollars in the range from what I'll get from her for each piece that I take her, I'm looking at about $33 to 500 to 630, that range. And uh, yeah, I think that's a really great few hours at the thrift store to take $33, turn it into over 500. And um, I was just excited to fulfill my goal of just picking up dollar items and staying strong and not picking up the regular priced items. So I will definitely do more of these if you like them. Definitely hit the thumbs up if you want to see more regular thrift store hauls, especially Dollar Day, which is kind of fun. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.